So in this video, I'm going to go over a technique to release fear and anxiety and replace it with hope. When we were born, we didn't come into this world full of fear. It builds up. And sometimes the older we get, the more that fear is there. We have to kind of peel it away. And this technique I'm going to go over today, I found it very effective when I was going through my divorce. I had so much fear. Where was I going to live? How, what was I going to do? How was I going to support myself? It was all new territory. And I did this technique a lot and it helped. Now, one thing I want to say about fear too is you may deal it with one time and then you think everything's great. But again, like an onion, there may be a year later, a month later, five years later that you're dealing with it again. So, and every time we deal with the fear, we are growing. We are ascending to a higher consciousness. Now, some fear is good. Um, it protects us. But this is the kind of fear that cripples us. Because fear cannot live where there is love. And love is ultimately the state, our natural state, that is connected to the divine. That is where miracles come in. So love is our natural state, fear is not. And sometimes it's by dealing with this technique, it helps you release some of the triggers that you may have. For example, you may have to pass a test today and you are so filled with fear because you failed a test or didn't do well in the past. Well, that has nothing to do with today, with the present moment. But the triggers are there and that's why this technique could help. It's kind of like if there's a log going down a river and it just kind of goes where it wants. If it hits the bank, it hits a snag in the river, it just kind of goes. Well, that's how our minds could be. But we can control them. We could be the master of our mind and by conquering fear and our thoughts, we're not just going down the river, we are positioning ourselves with solutions instead of being overwhelmed with anxiety. And when we do some of these things, that is where the solutions come in. And every, um, everything in your life has a solution if we diminish the fear. And there's a, a great line I love that great things come out of uncertainty. Sometimes when we're fearful and we have so much uncert uncertainty, great things can come in with hope. So now let me go over this. It's a two-step process. I'll put my glasses on. And I want you to get a sheet of paper and you're going to write a letter. And you're going to write the letter to fear. You're going to put at the top of the paper, Dear Fear. And I want you to name each fear and write about it in detail. And what have you sacrificed because of this fear? Now, don't use judgment. Just continue to write. Get in touch with your heart. And I want you to write for about five to 10 minutes without judgment and try to get as specific as possible of what this fear has done. And this will help you focus on the problems and you may also come with solutions. And maybe this big fear you had, you realize it's just minuscule, like a little mouse. But by writing this, you're telling your subconscious mind about your fears and your subconscious mind is where the solutions can be found. So if you don't get solutions right away, that's okay. But you're putting, telling your subconscious mind you want them. So then the second part of this, you're going to write another letter. But you're going to put dear in your name. So for me, it'd be dear Gloria. And this letter, you're going to speak to yourself with compassion and thank the fears that you have in your life for the warnings. I want you to talk to yourself like you would talk to a frightened child with love and compassion. Some examples are, this is how it was in the past, but this is how it is now. From this point forward, I will not fear. I am safe. I am doing blank to work through this fear. And then at the end of the letter, again, another five to 10 minutes, I want you to put, you are loved and safe. Love fear. Repeat this as often as necessary. It really makes a difference to put it down on paper. This, like I said, helped me tremendously in the past. 
If you enjoyed my video, please consider giving a thumbs up, following my channel, and I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Sending you lots of love and light. Till next time.